Draper. I'm with AuthenticFlorida.com, which is a website devoted to the simple and delightful pleasures of Florida living. I travel all over the state, and one of the things that I have noticed is the diverse array of honeys in the state. And what I'm going to do is share with you some of my findings about honey in Florida. I have a whole array of, fun, of honey here, starting with Tupelo and ending up with Wildflower. And you can see that there's a lot of diversity in the color, starting with the, go, the white, almost white color, to golden amber, and then to dark. Let's start with Tupelo. Tupelo is probably one of the most famous honeys in all of Florida. It's from the northern panhandle, and it grows along the riverbanks of the Apalachicola and Chipola rivers. It is a, has a very, very distinct um, taste and is very popular with diabetics. The next one is the orange blossom honey, which is our signature honey in Florida. Where there's orange blossoms, there is orange honey, orange blossom honey. And it's a fruity, light taste, great on uh, strawberries or any uh, kind of fruit or in yogurt, and one of my favorites. Then we have um, gallberry honey, which is also kind of a fruity taste. Gallberry grows in wetlands and needs a lot of sunshine, the gallberry plant. Um, also, another one that you probably haven't heard of is called Brazilian pepper honey. This uh, Brazilian pepper is grown along the coastal areas. It's an invasive species. It's not popular with horticulturalists, but it is a very fine honey and um, uh, is nice and light, uh, full-bodied honey. The next one is blackberry honey, which most everyone knows what a blackberry is, and this has a distinct flavor of blackberries. Obviously, it's going to have that. The next one is an avocado honey. Notice how it's getting a little bit more amber color, and the avocado honey is very buttery tasting, very full and buttery tasting. And then you have the saw palmetto honey. This is probably one of my favorites of all, besides the orange blossom and the tupelo. But the saw palmetto, let me just show you what a saw palmetto is. This is what it looks like. And it's got a saw-like uh, uh, end of the uh, plant here. And um, it grows all throughout the state and in the pine flatwoods, everywhere in Florida. And so you'll see it uh, fairly prevalent. It is a very rich tasting honey and um, is great for um, putting on uh, just about anything and is also cooking. And then there's wildflower honey. Wildflower honey has uh, got quite the medicinal value, um, as do most of the raw unfiltered honey. And uh, wildflowers, where there's wildflowers, there's bees. So wildflower honey grows anywhere throughout the state and it is a very robust flavor. So that gives you a kind of a spectrum of the honey in Florida. One of the things I recommend is when you buy honey, buy it local um, and make sure that you're buying the, the, the type that is not commercial, that is not cooked and is not filtered. If you buy from um, a, a farm stand, if you buy from your farmer's market, or even the farmer where it's grown, that's the best way to do it. So enjoy your Florida honey and enjoy Florida.